this is the final of quizzing with the comedians third edition uh, the first finalist uh, had a rollicking semi final uh, scored i think probably the highest points in this tournament so far yes he is he is, he is. that's the highest score so far in this tournament so uh, yeah reminds me of brand lara 400 401 uh, anyway uh, biswa kalyan rath yo yo i am i am here to decrease uh, rohan's winning margin by taking out some of his points <laughs> nice let's see let's see let's see i legit i'm not saying this to sa push karne ke liye i legit think any one of you can win all four of you have equal chance but we'll see we'll see but some uh, have more equal chances than others ha huh? <laughs> <laughs> on that note uh, let me call uh, the second finalist the second finalist uh, was a close second in his quarter final he had a very very uh, tense victory in the semi final won in the last question and uh, yeah adolf hitler came back to life to help him uh, reach the final of a quiz tournament uh, give it up for uh, kanan gill hello how's it going <laughs> close and tense that's how i would describe myself <laughs> yeah <laughs> close and tense Yeah. On that yeah. note, uh, the man who had pretentious knowledge reviews <laughs> <laughs> with KB in the middle. This <laughs> year's oh, movie. No, <laughs> 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 but you're wrong. You're not saying that. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. It's uh, no. It's Aditya Chopra. Not. Hey, what the fuck? Anyway. <laughs> uh, on that note, uh, the third uh, he had a, he has had a serendipitous uh, journey to the. final because he was supposed to be another uh, semi final then he swapped with tanmay and then he won that semi final uh, so what a what a great story this is nihal parashar what's up <laughs> parashar congratulations uh, oh, congratulations to be here in the final okay uh, which means uh, it's time to call the fourth contestant he's the winner of the movies edition and the second edition of quizzing with the uh, sorry the first edition of quizzing with the comedians uh also the winner of the last semi final uh and he's here he is the second highest scorer because this one had 83 and he had 80 in his semi final give it up for rohan joshi what up what up what's going on <laughs> what up what up rohan long time ha huh? <laughs> long time no see man ha ha <laughs> working hard or hardly working beta good from ah, far far from good ah, okay ah, okay ah, enjoy, ah, enjoy. Ah, okay <laughs> Big out, yeah. yeah, just wacky. Enjoy like anything. Just wacky, Enjoy. wacky guys, just be wacky. Yeah, and Uncle Call would also be like this. How is Rohan not seeing? Right. This one left. <laughs> oh, I'm too young for this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's have a nice, fun finale. I'm too excited. Too excited to host this one, Kanan, Nihal, and Rohan. All the best, all the best, Biswa, Kanan, Nihal, Rohan. All of you know the drill. There's nothing much to explain, so we'll just head straight into it. Cool. Let's do this. Question number one, uh, direct to Biswa. We are talking about a music album, okay? Wake Up Dash. It's a progressive rock album by X. So we need to figure out X, which released on 27th November 2015. So. what you're going to read now is an edited excerpt of that album by rolling stones magazine let's look at it his message has been an inspiration to millions of people all over the world how is his music mm, infallible wake up sets his dash so dashes are all not the same they are different but they are very very uh, they are give away so that's why they will remove sets his dash in spanish italian portuguese and english to pop rock and classical compositions performed by italian session musicians several with roots in the country 70s rock scene you can hear that influence in the tubular synth noodling that opens anantio vobis gaudium magnum other songs not to excess south american background so this guy has south american background the only song in english okay because the other songs can be in the other languages that you saw earlier The only song in English, "Wake Up, Go Go Forward," is the most rocking, riding, heraldic metal riff and a fire-tongued solo into a dash on activism. Usually, the music, some of which is quite lovely, veers closer to the new age neoclassicism of Vangelis or Kitaro, a warm fit for his tender, elegant speaking voice. That he's talking about X. But if the sonics bathe us in soft Sunday morning light, 
the message is pure punk rock redemption speaking to an amped up brazilian crowd on la iglesia no puede ser una ong that's also a song from the album he entreats and this is what he says i want the noise to go out i want the dash to go out onto the streets whose album is wake up dash read the review again there are hints all over the place so i have to give you x for the dash x only no yeah yeah if you know the dash you will know x brazilian crowd yeah ah uh, pele pele not pele going to kanan is it is it the fucking the prime minister the president president of where if it's a president <laughs> of brazil <laughs> of brazil okay no no nihal barack obama not barack obama rohan i'm taking a very wild stab here is it the pope it is the pope it is pope francis ah man he uh, yeah quiz is over already argentina yeah it is the pope it. it is the pope the brazil threw me off because i knew he was argentina argentina so, right yeah. yeah 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 but south american background and yeah, also yeah, spanish and the italian infallible, and also infallible was yeah infallible now that you know you see even the lyrics yeah. are all latin kind of anontio vobis yeah. podium magnum wake up what a great like, question <laughs> thank you kanan thank you so much uh i feel good when the question is mine and not the three kids who are helping me i'm like ah ye mera wala hai yes good question <laughs> so what is the dash honest wake up honest writers room honest writers yeah. room <laughs> yeah this first is the album questions. yeah first 10 questions are going to be my direct guys <laughs> <laughs> ron is going to get all the answers uh, the dash is basically music album with its words and prayers so it's okay. a sentence wake up music album with its words and prayers by well, it's basically a rap album spoken word yeah okay hmm. okay uh, so so when you listen points. do you do this or do you do this uh, okay next question to biswa uh, biswa raman lamba uh, was an indian cricketer he was quite popular in bangladesh's dhaka premier league and had also represented ireland in unofficial one day international matches he died in 1998 and his last words were bully mai to mar gaya okay now the question is what is so unique about raman lamba's death why is his death so important raman lamba died of a cricket ball a ball hit his head and he died uh yeah very good i mean almost there just tell me so why is that death so unique uh in the sense that uh, i know a cricket ball hit him and he died so you're almost there uh but what is so unique like why is death why is that death uh the only death to have or the only death you're almost there i'm just i'm just being little little anal about uh uh, uh it was it that uh, it was the only indian cricketer to die on field yeah absolutely correct this is what i was waiting for the only indian test player to have died on a cricket field okay this is the only guy who died on a cricket field uh, raman lamba raman lamba was playing in uh, bangladesh when he was hit he was fielding on uh, i think forward shot leg got hit and died okay so ten points to bisa bully kon tha so close to saying yeah what did he say bully kon tha nas कोई प्लेयर आया था देखने कि तो उसने बोला कि बोली मैं तो मर गया हाँ विश्वास से आई क्लोज तू सेइंग दैट हेलमेट नहीं पहन के बैटिंग करने के लिए मरने वाला पहला आदमी बट थैंक्स फॉर स्टार सर अलाइन ओके टेन पॉइंट्स तू विश्वास ग्रेट ग्रेट स्टार्ट तू द क्विज नेक्स्ट डायरेक्ट इस कनन रिप्रेजेंटिंग and also contain the highest two story bridge in the world they are designed with stainless steel and glass panels with properties to filter light and reduce noise while the glass facades resemble motifs of islamic art 
in 1999 felix baumgartner set a world record for base jumping off the towers what are we talking about petronas stars that is correct another great answer it is petronas towers 10 points to kanan petronas towers is correct the next direct will be nihal's nihal after her win at the women's discus throw event in 2010 krishna punia became the first indian to win a gold medal in commonwealth games in athletics since 1958 identify the sports person who won the gold in 1958 1958 gold yeah. fairly direct question krishna punia won gold in commonwealth before her in athletics hmm. uh, the last gold medal came way back in 1958 who was the sports person who won the gold in 1958 commonwealth games i'm just taking a guess about this person who was a uh, uh, bodybuilder and uh, was mr world 1952 uh, the man from uh, assam uh, no rohan um wild guess was it waste space not waste space uh biswa uh Waste space was hockey, so mm. can't be athletics. Athletics. This uh, one. Milka Singh. Milka Singh is absolutely correct. It is Milka Singh. Ten uh, points to this one. Milka Singh is correct. Uh, Milka Singh won a gold medal in four forty yards athletics event. Okay, that's Milka Singh and the actor who played Milka Singh for us. Oh, I think ten years good body. <laughs> and but there was i think some textbook in bengal or something where they printed uh, Mil- uh, farhan akhtar's photo in the textbook <laughs> in, in in place of milka singh uh, bengal state board or something if i'm this is a, as you can see pictureized this is salman uh, this is farhan akhtar gave me inspiration for pani gila gila <laughs> <laughs> with that sound setup karan you can sing anything you know you know what i mean yeah kuch acha lag Okay, Biswa gets ten points. Next direct is to Kanan. Kanan, on October eleventh, nineteen eighty, the Indian Express published a news item that said ten under trials blame police for losing sight. Okay, it concerned a habeas corpus petition moved in the Supreme Court on behalf of under trial prisoners in Bhagalpur Jail in Bihar, who alleged that the police deprived them of their eyesight by using acid. Which national award-winning movie took inspiration from this incident? <laughs> I don't even slightly know. Uh, uh, is it the Akshay Kumar movie Aake? No, uh, that's not a real guess. Sorry. <laughs> is uh, Andhadun? I don't know. No, not Andhadun. Not Nihal. Also not. Yeah. Ab Pordwa Khan, Ganga Jal. Ganga Jal is correct. Ganga Jal is the answer we were looking for. Ten points to Nihal. Ganga Jal. Ganga Jal takes the inspiration from here, where they actually do that to under trial prisoners, mm. and they call the acid from the battery as Ganga Jal, and that's the fun. Uh, Even this incident Jesus. is called Akhwa Kan. Yeah, Akhwa Kan, Bagalpur. Bagalpur. Okay, Nihal gets ten points for Ganga Jal, and next direct will be to Rohan. Uh, there are various stories about the origin of the phrase X. So X is a phrase. Uh, the most prominent are these three theories a law passed by sir francis buller in 17th century which uh, limited the maximum thickness of the stick with which it was permissible for a man to beat his wife the correct depth at which a seed needs to be planted in the ground to ensure it germinates properly the third is a method by brewers once tested the temperature of beer what phrase are we talking about um phrase so of course uh, too good beta um but um also uh, is it rule of thumb it is the rule of thumb it is the rule uh, of thumb it is the rule of thumb 10 points to rohan rule of thumb uh that is correct so rohan gets 10 points and next direct is to biswa biswa again we are talking about a phrase okay uh this is a phrase which is thought to have been around since 1970s with the earliest documented case of the phrase showing up on saturday night live spoken by chevy chase in a weekend update skit in 1975 which also happened to be the first season of snl the phrase was later hugely popularized 
thanks to Wayne's World skits on SNL and later usage in the movie Wayne's World. The British supposedly have their own version of that statement, which has been around for a much longer time, like over a century. This is the British version. The British version is said the actress to the bishop. What phrase are we talking about? That's what she said. That's what she said. That is correct. That's what she said. 10 points to Biswa. That's what she said is correct. Said the actress to the bishop. Next direct is to Kanan. Kanan at the very end of a sharp essay on the religious idiocies of the Hindus and Muslims published in the May 1935 issue of the magazine called Manohar. X asked Indian Muslims to, for the sake of their humanity, learn from Turkey under Kemal Atatürk. Now, these are his words. He said, just as it is my duty to repeatedly tell the Hindu nation to abandon its silly religious customs, observances and opinions in this age of science, so I will also tell Muslim society, which is an inevitable part of the Hindustani nation, that it should abandon as quickly as possible its troublesome habits as well as religious fanaticism for its own good. Who are we talking about? You know, why can't you give me that's what she said or rule of thumb? <laughs> <laughs> it's a long quiz, Kana. <laughs> I have zero idea. A huge guess. Is this Dr. Ambedkar? Not Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Nihal? Is it Jinnah? Not Jinnah. Uh, Rohan? I'm going to take a really stupid guess. Is it Mountbatten? No, not Mountbatten. This one? Is it Subhash Chandra Bose? Not Subhash Chandra Bose. I'll make it a five-point question and uh, start with Kanan again. Uh, so it's not a... It's a very direct question, so to speak. Okay? It's, it's very... Like, it's not some... The reason I'm saying this is it, it is someone who you really associate with the concept of Hindu nation, Muslim nation, two nation, etc, etc, etc. Okay. And a very, very polarizing figure uh, in the current, in the current state of India. Okay. Uh, we'll start with Kanan whenever Kanan is ready. Uh, is this, uh, the name is escaping me now. Uh, the founder of the RSS. Uh, no, not the founder of the RSS. Uh, Nihal. Is it Savarkar, Veer Savarkar? It is Veer Savarkar, that is correct. Uh, five points to Nihal, this is Veer Savarkar. Savarkar, this is one of his most famous essays because it's considered to be pivotal in the history of uh, right-wing uh, history of our country. Okay. Five points to Nihal for Veer Savarkar. Next direct is for Rohan. It was first grown in India during the 15th century in uh, Kambay and Malwa. It was an important article of trade with China and other Eastern countries and the state had monopoly over it. However, during the later years of the Mughal Empire, the state lost its hold on the monopoly. In 1757, the monopoly of its cultivation passed into the hands of the East India Company. In 1773, Lord Warren Hastings brought the entire trade under the control of the government. The government has retained its monopoly since then. Like it's been... Mm, three, mm, 350 years, but the government all still has monopoly on its cultivation. What am I talking about? Is this opium? It is opium. Uh, oh. 10 points to Rohan. It is opium. Opium is correct. Okay. Uh, next direct question will be to Biswa. It's a pretty good practice to avoid incurring the wrath of the dead in general. But if there's a ghost you really don't want to upset, it's probably excess ghost. Okay. Just think of the many inventive ways he killed people in his works. That's why the curse on his grave at the church of the Holy Trinity should be taken seriously. And this is the curse that is written on his grave. It says, good friend for Jesus sake forbear to dig the dust enclosed here. Blessed be the man that spares these stones and cursed be he that moves my bones. It is thought that the warning was penned by X himself. This is grave. In his day, it was common for bodies to be exhumed for research purposes or even just to make room for more burials. And he did not want that to happen to his remains. So far, his warning seems to have worked. Even when the grave received some repairs in 2008, workers said the stones would not actually be moved and the bones certainly would not be disturbed. 
whose grave are we talking about? Is it William Shakespeare? It is William Shakespeare. Beautiful answer. Beautiful crack. It is William nice. Shakespeare. Ten points to Biswa. Good friend for uh, that is his grave actually. Grave of William Shakespeare, and he's warned Give. that nobody should miss. Yeah, but gave full name also. First name and last name I gave, not just Shakespeare. Okay. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Ten points there for Biswa. Next direct will be uh, for Kanan. Kanan, connect these uh, names, and this this is not exhaustive at all. Uh, George H. W. Bush, Dick Cheney. Oliver Stone, Meryl Streep, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Jodie Foster, Edward Norton, Samuel Morse, the man behind Morse code, Paul Newman, Paul Krugman, Anderson Cooper, Claire Danes, and there are, like I said, many other names also. This is not exhaustive at all. What connects these names? And then, I have no idea, man. Pass. Uh, do you want to take a guess? No. Um. Are these all people named by Trump in tweets? Uh, no. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Nihal. Guest Nihal. appearance in a movie franchise or something? Uh, no. Rohan. Um. Did Simpsons cameos? Uh, no. Biswa. All are American people. <laughs> I don't. Uh... <laughs> mm. They all, uh, they were all, they have all fought for presidents. Uh, no, okay. Uh, I'll give a hint and take another round. Uh, okay. First of all, it's a very diverse set of people, right? There are politicians, economists, some sort of a scientist. There's also a few actors. Okay. Uh, the hint that I want to give is, uh, and now I want a specific answer. Is that Bill and Hillary had a college romance? That's a hint. College romance. I really don't know. Are these all members of a college secret society, Skulls and Bones? Um. No, Nihal. Bill and Hillary had college romance. Hmm. Did this guy? All of these went to the same college. Hmm. Can you improve your answer? Oh, because I said I want a very specific answer now. Specific. Uh, college, college. Was it Harvard? Not Harvard. Rohan. Um. Was it Columbia? Not Columbia. Biswa. Yale University of Yale. Yeah, beautiful answer. It is <laughs> Yale. Uh, so the funda is that Yale alumni is considered to be one of the most diverse alumni in the world. And even like Edward Norton is supposed to be really a uh, like smart guy who went to Yale. Uh, James Franco studied there. Judy Foster. Uh, some of them did chota mota course. Someone actually stayed there. Oh. And like Nobel laureates, too many presidents. Uh, it's just Yale has an insane list of alumni. Compared to other famous colleges, so Yale, Yale is a good Yale. crack. This one is five points. Yeah, some of them are right there on your screen: George W. Bush, Jim Franco, Taft, uh, Paul Giamatti, Gerald Ford, uh, Ben Carson, Anderson Cooper. It was there, John Kerry. Okay, half time, half time. It's half time. Half time also means a time to check the score. Uh, Kanan is on ten on the back of Petronas Towers. Nihal is on fifteen with Ganga Jal and uh, Savarkar. Uh, Rohan is on 30. Uh, Rohan got OPM, Rule of Thumb, and Pope Francis. Okay. Yeah. And the leader right now is Biswa with 45 points. Uh, Biswa got uh, died on cricket field. Uh, Milka Singh, that's what she said. William Shakespeare and Yale University, five points. Cool. Let's start with Rohan. Let's start the second half, second and the final half. Uh, last last 14 questions of the entire tournament, not just the quiz. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Rohan, this is your direct. It is well known that Bollywood made the greatest impression on Soviet cinema goers, right? Between 1954 and 1991, uh, more than 200 Indian films were imported into the Soviet Union. Just to give you context, 41 were imported from the United States. Now we are just focusing on two movies. Okay, X, 
which came in 1982 is a bollywood film about a street performer who gained fame fortune and love by winning an international x competition and was the highest grossing film of the soviet era it earned 60 million rubles at the box office okay 6.25x now why why is in second place for highest grossing fi- foreign films uh, and the movie came in 1954 it featured uh, raj kapoor uh, and it was a reimagination of romeo and juliet and this was of course given the timeline one of the first bollywood films to be screened in the soviet union again to give you more context it isn't until till fifth place so we are talking about the list of highest uh, earning foreign films in soviet and uh, it's only at the fifth place that usa enters this chart with the 1961 uh, western the magnificent 7 so on top 5 fifth is uh, the magnificent 7 while uh, the two indian films hindi films uh, are these two that we are talking about one came in 1982 one came in 1954 one is about street performer who gains fame fortune and love by winning a competition uh, while the other one features raj kapoor and uh, basically is romeo and juliet ka story okay um is x disco dancer okay and is y avara yeah perfect answer it is a disco dancer and avara 10.2 I like I like that I like that Biswa has to give that's what she said and I have to give two goddamn movies for one point like <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Avara yeah I in my disco head, dancer was, was a big between team. Avara and Sri Charsobi uh, mm-hmm. and then yeah 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 disco dancer is still a craze like mithun is a star in the oh yeah we so did a lot of research also, okay it's a craze here also <laughs> yeah that's true that's true That's true. Okay, ten points to Rohan for uh, disco dancer and Navara. Uh, next, direct to Nihal. Okay, there's an 80-year-old guy called Tatsuo Horiyuchi who is from Japan and is known all over around the world for his incredible drawing skills. Mm. Okay, but what is so special about his drawing? The special thing is that he doesn't use pencil, pen, or paint for his art. Instead, he creates masterpieces in X. Okay, so we'll figure out what X is. Around 20 years ago, before retiring. Horiyuchi thought that he needed a new ch- retiring as in normal job for retiring uh, before retiring he thought he need he needed a new challenge in his life so he thought now i'll do painting he settled on painting however he didn't want to spend money on art supplies ki main canvas kharidu paint kharidu color kharidu ye wo so he decided to use his computer for this but he did not go for any fancy digital drawing software either and opted for this what does he use to paint these masterpieces i'm just going to show you images Uh, some of the images that uh, like some of the best selling masterpieces of Tatsuo Horiyuchi mm. this so aap log image dekh lijiye whenever you want me to switch to text i will switch to text and i'll fix uh, switch to text uh, visuals i mean i will alternate basis whenever you ask me to theek hai ha main wapas ja sakta hu kya text pe okay ha main ek baar dobara se dekh sakta hu kya ha ha are these uh, leaves uh, real leaves plant leaves plant leaves no kana i confused between two i know okay. two japanese guys who both do this shit and i'm going to be so pissed if i get it wrong uh, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> uh okay i'm going to go for non intuition and say microsoft paint uh no pass it to this one it's the other one it's microsoft excel Absolutely correct. It's it is Microsoft Excel. Excel. Ah. It's Microsoft Excel. So our man uses Microsoft Excel to create these masterpieces. This is an image, uh, the image that you saw uh, on the left. And this is uh, a work in progress of that image. Okay. So this man uses Microsoft Excel to create these masterpieces. Okay. This one gets ten more points. Uh, <clears throat> while I move to Rohan for the next question, X will take longer to complete than the Egyptian pyramids. It started in 1882 and is hoped to be completed in 2026, the centennial of Gaudi's death. Though it might not be finished until as late as 2040, the Great Pyramid, by comparison, only took 20 years. What are we talking about? Um, we are, of course, talking about um, the Sagrada Familia. Yeah, La Sagrada Familia. Yeah, it's correct. 
10 points to Rohan. It is uh, La Sagrada Familia. Okay, uh, next direct to Nihal. Yep. Sudharma is a newspaper published from the city of Mysore in Karnataka. Established in the year 1970, the circulation of the paper is mainly through post, a method that its founder resorted to when news vendors refused to stock his paper. Sudharma has a circulation of around 3500 and the annual subscription fee is rupees 500. 11 years ago, Sudharma gained an online avatar as well. The e-paper is available for free. In its current iteration, Sudharma runs over two pages. Page one carries news. Page two has features from contributors. Apart from domestic subscribers, the edition also reaches readers in Germany, Japan, and Sri Lanka. What is so unique about this paper that defies all odds to survive till date? Okay, so Sudharma is a newspaper published out of Mysore in Karnataka, established in 1970, but yet it has managed to survive for 50 years despite, uh, despite uh, defying all odds. Uh, then there are a bunch of details about circulation price and subscription fees. Also, as an online avatar. Okay, I'll just take a guess. Mm -hmm. to go like this. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it some something to do with religion? Uh, as in, uh, in the sense, does it have bhajans written on it? Okay, no, Kanan. Is it the longest running uh, Canada paper? Canada, no, Viswa. Man, I had a guess, then you reacted to religion, and now I don't know. No, 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 don't be uh, confused with reactions. That's just, just focus on your answer. Is it printed in Braille? Not printed in Braille. Rohan? I'm going to take a very stupidly wild guess. Was this paper like started by Virapan or something like that? Uh, no, no, not, not the right track. Okay, I'll make it a five point question. Take another round. Okay, so in some sense, some sense, uh, Karan was on right track. Uh, it is, it has something to do with language. Okay, that's okay. it. Starting with Nihal, whenever Nihal is ready. That is, a, that is your only hint, language. Yeah, something to do with language. Is it uh, shlokas in Sanskrit or Sanskrit language? Sloka in Sanskrit? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. No, I was just only looking for Sanskrit. Uh, it is a Sanskrit newspaper. Okay. Uh, it is a Sanskrit newspaper and it has managed to survive for these many years. Although every year there's a news ki bandho jayega, bandho jayega, but they somehow managed to defy all odds and it still gets published. Oh. But so, uh, Sudharma is, an, is a Sanskrit newspaper. That's all I was looking newspaper for. Newspaper, okay. newspaper, no, nothing to do with religion. Haan, nothing to do with religion, but matlab, Sanskrit has haan. something to do with religion. Yeah, so I was like, Bad me, you know, like, I remember next some street will never. Okay, the next question is for uh, Kanan. Okay. Kanan, on the right on your screen is a memorial located at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. It commemorates something that happened here on December 17th, 1903. What or who is this memorial dedicated to? Uh, Wright Brothers, first flight. Absolutely correct. It is uh, Wright Brothers. 10 points to Kanan. Uh, the answer is right, brothers. First flight. Good. Uh, Kanan Gill. Next direct is to Biswa. Uh, the flowering plant gets its name from the shape of its leaves. Okay, these leaves are shaped like teeth and they reminded the French of the maw of a large carnivore. Hence, they named the flower X, which is derived from the literal French trans translation of teeth of the dash. What flowering plant are we talking about? So look at all the hints. Uh, we're talking about a flowering plant. Uh, the reason the plant gets its name is because of the shape of the leaves. The, le the leaves are shaped like teeth. And when the French saw these leaves, they thought of a particular large carnivore. That's why they named the flower X, which is French translation of teeth of the dash. What plant are we talking about? Dragonflower. No, not dragonflower. Uh, Rohan? Dandelion. Dandelion is correct. Teeth of dandelion. the lion. Dandelion. So also it what you say when them you see a well-dressed carnivore in the forest. You go. <laughs> <laughs> dandelion. Yeah, 10 points to <laughs> Rohan. <laughs> <laughs> 
10 points to rohan dandelion uh, which is dented the lion or like teeth of the lion okay 10 points to rohan right there uh, which means the next direct will be to nihal nihal the term we are talking about a term that has its origin in a test match between uh, west indies and england in 1993 the bowler uh, was a left arm orthodox spinner playing for west indies at that time he surprised uh, he surprised england's uh, walter robins by bowling a delivery that spun into the right hander from outside the off stump as he was walking down the pavilion robins said to his teammates fancy being done by a bloody dash okay leading to term which became popular in england and later became popular uh, every, any, uh, everywhere in the world otherwise also fancy being done by a bloody china man yeah that is correct it is uh, it is china man china man is right okay main bhi to hu na china man aapko pata hi hai yes yes ha <laughs> uh, china, china man is correct 10 points to nihal uh, china man fancy being done by a china man and that has the uh, mm-hmm. origin for this bowling style okay nihal got china man next question to kanan kanan in order to indicate a cool nature a former dash was suggested the names auto von ruthless ice dagger fang macfrost and chili macfreeze he ultimately ended up with dash dash his most famous and iconic nickname who are we talking about uh vanilla ice vanilla ice uh, no going to biswa ice man no rohan is it michael schumacher no not michael schumacher nihal uh is it some uh, wrestler we are talking about can't say like uh, are we talking about undertaker not undertaker okay i uh, will take one more round make it a five pointer the first blank is wrestler a former wrestler okay. former wrestler was said this name we'll start whenever kanan is ready the rock not the rock this one stone cold steve austin stone cold is correct in order to show his nature uh, his cool nature he thought of these options ice dagger and what not and finally uh, finally decided to have stone cold as his nickname is stone cold steve austin that is correct this one gets 5 points and the next direct question will be rohan's rohan what is being shown here um how to get followers on instagram basically how to give you how to give yourself a heimlich maneuver no that's my joke answer um, it it it's the macarena it is the macarena that is correct macarena uh, how to do the macarena is what is what was being shown there 10 points to rohan okay next direct to nihal uh nihal we go back from macarena to history in many ways this tartar warlord born near samarkand in 1336 in what is now uzbekistan outshone both alexander and chingiz khan okay now let's compare him with alexander and chingiz khan one by one hmm. unlike the macedonian king which is obviously alexander this guy was not of royal blood but he came from humble stock he began his world conquering rampages as a petty sheep wrestler among the steeps and high mountain passes of central asia now let's compare him with chingiz khan but unlike the mongol warlord he did not have one people to lead to military triumphs but had to weld together a successful army from a bewildering mass of different often fractious nationalities by the time he faced the uh, ottoman sultan bayezid the first on the battlefield in 1402 uh, almost when he was uh, 70 years old his soldiers came from the length and breadth of his empire from armenia to afghanistan from samarkand to siberia who are we talking about Afghanistan, Samarkand, to Siberia. No idea, but I'll just uh, Kutubuddin Abbas. Just no, not very, 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 very. Do some. No, not bad. Uh, Kanan. No idea again. I'm going to say Kublai Khan. Not Kublai Khan. Biswa. Timur the Lame. Timur the Lame is perfect answer. It is Tamilan or Timur or. Tamur, whatever you call him, ten points to Biswa. Uh, 
basically there's like always a debate about who is the greatest conqueror etc etc of the world a lot of people say it's alexander a lot of people say it's chinggis khan but there is a theory that maybe tamur was the greatest because of these two reasons he was not born a royal person and he, he had a much diverse army than anyone else okay this was its 10 points fun, fun fact babur is a descendant of chinggis khan and timur yeah, yeah. on mother's yeah. and father's yeah. side yeah and yeah. he was uh, samarkand mein usko bulaya ja rahe idhar se to india aa gaya se ंग्लिश Fill in the blank. Both the both the blanks are the same word. Is it chop chop? It is chop chop. Chop chop. It is. And Rohan chop, gets chop. ten points. Rohan gets ten points. Uh, okay. Rohan got uh, chop chop. Uh, next direct question is to Nihal. Yeah. Like all true mammals, baby eggs are are nourished with milk from their mothers, but no other mammal can fly like eggs can. flying squirrels and similar mammals can only glide at best in order to make flight possible eggs digest their food extremely fast sometimes excreting within 30 to 60 minutes of eating that helps them keep their weight down what are we talking about indigo pilots they <laughs> <laughs> call to baby indigo pilots <laughs> <laughs> नमस्कार आपका स्वागत है मैं हूं दिस इज योर कैप्टन स्पीकिंग 1 मिनट ओके क्लाइड एट बेस्ट पॉसिबल आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग अ गेस इज इट बैट्स या इट इज बैट्स बैट्स इज करेक्ट एंड निहाल गेट्स 10 पॉइंट्स फॉर दैट अ एंड या दैट वाज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द क्विज 28 क्वेश्चंस अ डन इट्स टाइम टू चेक द स्कोर्स पिसवा हैड 45 then yes. he got ms excel yes uh, he got uh, stone cold steve austin 5 points for that stone cold steve austin is 5 points ah that was 5 points yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> lost yeah and uh, <laughs> got it got it and tamur no no keep adding keep adding <laughs> yeah Tam- tamur lane or tamur tamur he got right yeah uh, yeah tamur, tamur you and that's it right yeah yeah 70 actually okay Bro, that's seventy. Huh? Yeah, that's seventy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kanan had ten in the first half. Yeah, there's no need. Got... There's no need to add. It's fine. <laughs> okay. I got it. And he got <laughs> right, right brothers, right brothers in the second half. I so can do it on the fingers from... of two people. <laughs> <laughs> Or fingers and toes, खुद का. Kanan got twenty. Uh, Nihal had fifteen. Then he got five points for uh, Sanskrit newspaper. Ten yeah. uh, points for Chinaman. And again, ten points for bats. So, uh, Nihal ends on forty. Now, uh, now it's uh, Rohan. Rohan had thirty after the first half. Then he got disco dancer and Avara. Uh, he got La Sagrada Familia. He got uh, Dandelion. And he got Macarena. Is that it? And chop and chop. 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 Chop chop and chop chop. So he wins. He wins, right? He got. Yeah. He gets fifty points. Yeah, he's right. Uh, so <laughs> Rohan, uh, just need a moment to unclench my butthole, if that's okay. <laughs> hey, dude! Congratulations, man. That's insane. That's three quizzes in a row. That's man, mad. That's, yeah, yeah, damn. yeah. But congrats, Rohan. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, yeah. thank you. What a dude! It was so. I was keeping score throughout, like everybody's score. So. <laughs> I have been essentially just balls in mouth from the start of this quiz. <laughs> <laughs> But oh, uh, I I think Biswa played like like w- one of like the a, best quizzing fuck. performances I've seen in this insane, entire tournament. Insane, insane, like, insane, insane. What movie? What movie? We were like I've seen I, I've seen Rohan do this earlier. I've seen Kanan, Nihal, everyone. But the way Biswa played right from like uh, Raman Lamba till Tamur Lane. Yeah, insane. Like, like, in the tournament, Jita, this one is Dil. Of course, of course. And ah. just one question here and there, and you never know. Yep, yep, uh, yep. Super, great stuff. 
great stuff uh, okay on that note uh, thank you so much once more to nihal uh, to kanan and of course to biswa and of course congratulations to rohan uh, for you, winning sir. a tournament once again thank you so thank you for an amazing tournament hey, kv 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 yeah, yeah. Guys, thank you for an amazing tournament thank you thank you man thank you thank you i did not know like a year or two ago i did not know how many facts there were <laughs> and uh, <Yeah. laughs> how many small <laughs> packets of data can <laughs> yeah. exist in the universe Just contextless nuggets of information floating around <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and then just kv started a whatsapp group and then i i just i'm like when do when do i know all the facts <laughs> when is this over when are the facts over <laughs> yeah. cool thank you guys yeah. thank you thank you so much and uh, yeah thank all you. the whatever all the best to anything that you're doing next thank you so much yes sir